Hey there, this is Erica from Highland Hickory Designs and I'm back today with another fun stitch tutorial. This one is really solid and perfect for washcloths and dish towels, uh, sweaters, blankets, anything you'd like to make with it. And I just love the detail on this and the puff stitches give it a little bit of texture, not too much, but just enough to keep it interesting. And this is a four row repeat and to make anything you want, you just need a multiple of 12 plus 11 chains. And in today's tutorial, we are using, I love this cotton in ivory, and it is a size four medium weight yarn. And we're also using a D 3.125 millimeter crochet hook. And if you're interested in the written instructions, they'll be in the description box below, along with timestamps and instructions on how to speed up or slow down my videos in case I go too fast or too slow for you. And this is the front, this is the back. It's a double-sided pattern, so you can use it for anything you'd like, and it's super easy to memorize. So I believe that's all I wanted to say. Let's get started with the tutorial. All right, so like I said, you need a multiple of 12 chains plus 11. And since we're just going to be making a tiny swatch, we're going to go with a multiple of 12 for 12 and add 11 for 23. Twenty-three. For row one, we're going to work a double crochet in the fifth chain from the hook. This is going to count as a double crochet. So we will then double crochet in the next five chains And that will give us a total of seven chain or seven double crochets on the end. Skip one chain, and in the next chain, we're going to puff stitch, chain one, puff stitch, all in the same chain. So a puff stitch is you yarn over, insert your hook into the chain, yarn over and pull back through, yarn over. Insert your hook back into the same chain, yarn over and pull back through. You have five loops on your hook now. One more time, yarn over, insert your hook into the chain, yarn over and pull back through. Now you have seven loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all seven loops. And that is a puff stitch. Chain one, we'll do that again. In the same chain, yarn over and pull back through. We'll have three. five, seven. We'll yarn over, pull through seven. Skip two chains, and in the next chain, we'll do that again. Two puff stitches, chain one, puff stitch. One, two, three, yarn over, pull through all seven, Chain one, one, two, three, yarn over and pull through all seven. Skip one chain and then you will double crochet in each of the next chains, next seven chains. So when you're working this pattern on either end, 
you'll have seven double crochets, but when you're working in between the puff stitches, you'll have six double crochets. So the repeat is actually six double crochets, puff stitch section. And you would repeat that across with seven double crochets on either end. And that'll make more sense here in a minute, especially when you have a larger project. So for row two, chain three, turn your work, and we're pretty much going to repeat row one for row two. But instead of working in chains, we're going to be working in stitches. So we will, in the next six stitches, we will put double crochets, one in each stitch. All right, so since this is an end, we're going to have seven total because the chain three counts as a double crochet. Now our puff stitch, stitch section, we're going to work in the chain one space. So we're going to work puff stitch, chain one, puff stitch, all in this chain one space. And the same for the second one, also in the chain one space. And for the, when you get to the end of the row, one double crochet in each stitch and you'll have seven total. That's row two. Now row three, we're going to switch it up because you're gonna have four puff stitch sections and now it's going to be here and here with just double crochets in the middle. One, two, three, chain three, counts as a double crochet, turn your work. So in this first stitch, we're going to work our puff stitch, chain one puff stitch. chain one, puff stitch again in the same stitch, just like before we're going to skip two stitches and work the puff stitch, chain one puff stitch in the next stitch. Skip one stitch, and in the next six stitches, we will put double crochets. So like I said, in between the puff stitch sections, you will have six double crochets. Seven is only for the ends. So skip one. Don't forget your chain one space that you can put a stitch into. six. So six in the middle. 
Now we're going to skip one stitch and work our puff stitch combos in the next puff stitch, chain one, puff stitch. Skip two stitches, puff stitch, chain one, puff stitch in the next stitch. Skip this stitch and in your chain three turning chain, you're just going to work a double crochet. For row four, chain three counts as a double crochet and we're pretty much going to repeat this row except for our puff stitches. We'll go in the chain one space now. So in the chain one space, puff stitch, chain one, puff stitch. And the same for this chain one space. Puff stitch, chain one, puff stitch. Now we need six double crochets in between. Six. And then again, we'll repeat with the puff stitch, chain one, puff stitch. There's one. And for our last stitch, we'll just work a double crochet in the chain three turning chain. That's row four. Row five is just going to be a repeat of this row, but since we're not working into chains, I'll show you how to do that real quick. Chain three counts as a double crochet. And now we're going to work six more double crochets and this one will be the seventh. Just work them as evenly as you can across the top here. Okay, so we have Seven double crochets since it's the end. Skip one stitch, work your puff stitch, chain one puff stitch in the next stitch. Skip two stitches puff stitch, chain one, puff stitch in the next stitch. Skip one stitch and then work. Seven double crochets at the end. And 
and the last one goes in the turning chain for seven. And that is it for the pattern. All you have to do is repeat rows two, three, four, and five. Just make sure you have seven on either end and in between your puff stitch sections, you'll have six. And when you're finished, you'll have this really beautiful fabric with no holes. And I really wanna make some dish towels out of this. I think this would look great in my kitchen. Let me know in the comments below what you think you would like to make with this stitch pattern and maybe that would help others decide what they would like to make and give everyone some ideas. Don't forget the timestamps are down below in case you need to jump to a certain row so you don't have to sift through the entire video searching. Also, if you enjoy your stitch tutorials set to beautiful music, be sure to check out my second channel, Lotus Crochet, where I have lots of great stitch tutorials set to beautiful music and no talking. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really means a lot to me, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.